To get started today, I'm going to show you how to group items. To group items, all you have to do is use your mouse to click and then drag. And as you click and drag, you draw a box. And as long as that box that I just drew goes around both items, it will select both of them. So now, now that we have both of these items selected, we can go up into this option and click on group. When I click on group, you will see that the color changes. Now, I can change this to any color that I want. It doesn't really matter because the color that you see when you print is whatever color filament you have in the machine. But the reason that the color changed when we grouped, as opposed to being ungrouped, is because it's just Tinker's, Tinkercad's way of showing us that, hey, these two items are grouped together now. I'm going to make it purple. So, to add to that, I would also like to show you a little bit today about this inspector tool. As you can see, there's two options here. There's a color option or a hole option. Now, if I wanted to add a door to my house, I would want to have a hole where the door would be. We'll just act like it's a door frame. And you can do this one of two ways. You can either click on holes and select one of the two options they give you, or you could go to geometric shapes. And you can actually drag in any of these shapes and eventually you can turn them into a hole. So I'm going to make a funny shaped door. So I actually think I'm going to grab the half sphere. I'm going to drag that to my work plane. Now that it's here, I need to do a little bit of maneuvering in order to get it to the location that I want it. And I think that's actually what I want my door to look like. Now, the way that I have it designed right now, the door would cut through both sides of the house, and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go and look at the bottom. I'm going to resize this so that it's not cutting out the back side of the house. And now, all I have to do is click on this item, and in my inspector window, if I click on hole, now I have a hole in my house. Okay? So if I zoom out a little bit, you can see that. You see? So now there's this hole in my house. But it's not quite a hole yet. It just is kind of looks like it's going to be a hole. And now if I go back and I select my house and make all three of these things one grouped item, now there's actually a physical hole there. I hope that was helpful. Have a great one.